you all remember when a couple girls decided to kill somebody for Slender Man? Well, if you don't remember that, let me tell you about it. Back in 2014 in Waukesha, Wisconsin, two girls, Anissa and Morgan, decided to take their friend Peyton out into the woods to try and kill her uh, for Slender Man so they could go to Slender Mansion and live with him. This is how they would become proxies or servants to him. It's a schizophrenic nightmare kind of crazy delusion that I cannot believe actually exists. I mean, the reason I even am diving back into this story is because watching Skibbity Toilet and all this other stuff, I mean, it's like just weird inklings, like history does repeat itself in weird ways. I see Skibbity Toilet and it made me think of all the crazy shit I used to see about Slender Man back in the day. <laughs> all the crazy lore, people getting in, making their own content about it. But it makes me think, I mean, is this gonna happen again? It's fucking horrifying to think about. But unfortunately, like I said, Anissa and Morgan took their friend Peyton out into the forest in 2014 and uh, Morgan stabbed Peyton 19 times while Anissa was nearby and watched and was a part of it. And in my recollection, I feel like I remember Peyton died. I thought it was this crazy thing, but Peyton, like the fucking rock star champion, survives, crawls to a busy road, and is rescued by somebody. And she survives the whole fucking thing. Fucking Medal of Honor. I don't know what kind of military grade medal we can give this person, but that's pretty fucking amazing and remarkable. And I just, it's it just so badass. For the rest of your life, just, you know. Just so fucking amazing. And a much happier ending to the story than I thought it was. You know, I, I, I'm throwing all this to you so fast. Do you remember who Slender Man is? Do you? Do you? The Slender Man is a fictional supernatural character that has originated as a creepypasta internet meme. A fictional character, generally depicted as a tall, shadowy figure with a blank face. Usually wearing a black suit, sometimes with tentacles coming out of his back, sometimes not. He is usually depicted hiding in forests or out in dark fields at night. Remember that now? Is it kind of slowly starting to come back a little bit? Remember all those games where it's going around and you had to find notes in the forest? You're all static in the- Boom! <laughs> People believe Slender Man can cause amnesia, huh? bouts of coughing, and paranoid behavior. It is even thought Slender Man can read your mind. Slender Man became a sort of a cult internet phenomenon for young people, and it is considered one of the internet's best known urban legends. Kids love horror stories. That's why the back rooms is so big. That's probably why some of my content does well. People just like this shit. It's the curiosity that gets you. It's, it's like at the time in your life when you're most afraid of like the most magical of things. You know what I mean? You're not afraid. To, I'm, like, I'm afraid of having a heart attack now. I'm a fat piece of shit. That's a legitimate fear. Having my foot cut, cut off. I'm a diabetic. I don't know what the fuck's going on real not fun and magical things versus like i remember when i was afraid of a like a red squirrel i don't know why i was afraid of this red squirrel but it was it, it, to, to me it was magical it talked and it's just like the weird little things that you kind of choose to believe or that really sink into your adolescent mind today's video is sponsored by manscaped Manscape is the premier leader for men in lifestyle and grooming. More than 8 million men trust Manscaped with their most sensitive areas. Speaking of sensitive areas, let's talk beards. It's hard to find your look, and that can really change the way about how you feel about yourself out in the world. I've tried a couple different hairstyles over the years, but for a while now, I've had hair on my face. It can really change the way you look, but you gotta do more than just have the hair. You have to find the shape that works and keep it maintained, or else you're just gonna look like a mess. But don't you worry. Manscaped has got you covered with the new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Inside, you got a beard trimmer plus trimmer guard, beard oil, beard shampoo, and conditioner. Also included, a beard accessory pack, comb, scissors, and brush. The beard trimmer comes with 20 hair cutting links with an all-in-one size guard, keeping things compact and easy. While the beard oil keeps your skin hydrated, which will help with patchiness and will keep you smelling amazing. No beard, no problem. Manscaped has a ton of other great products to keep you fresh Fresh, clean, and desirable. When you look better, you feel better. So feel better with Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping at Manscaped with promo code PAPAMEAT at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free international shipping with promo code PAPAMEAT at Manscaped.com. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring the video. And back to the video. What did happen on this day, right? What did happen? What, what was the buildup of all of this? What was this fateful day even like? In 2014, Anissa Weir and Morgan Geiser lured Peyton Lutner into the woods while Geyser stabbed her 19 times with a kitchen knife and Weir urged her on. In prep of this and just kind of reading it again, I, I watched the HBO documentary Beware the Slender Man and in some of the interrogation tapes during this, it was really scary how the honesty of children, but also just how much lack of remorse they had and how 
this thing that they were supposed to do, which is killing a human being, it was less about that they were freaked out about killing somebody and more so just kind of like, it was just so like cold and it was so devoid of human emotion. It was very odd. Did you feel bad? I just stay with one of your best friends. I thought about it, but then I decided that the horse will get me nowhere. After the two girls were arrested, they said they stabbed their friend because they wanted to please Slender Man. In the context of this whole situation, it really made me wonder, like, was this a sporadic thing? How long were they even planning this? And apparently they were planning this for a super long time. Both of these girls were kind of social outcasts, um, and they found a lot of camaraderie through themselves, but then also like Slender Man and internet culture, just general internet vibes and... I think it was this this weird thing where it was a person who heavily believes in something and a person who also believes in something connect together and they let their imaginations run wild and they conceive this crazy plan, which I, I think at the beginning was very much like, oh, who knows? And then you kind of like just keep believing it because your only social group are two people. So then you're just kind of like, oh, wait, this is real. Like, this is something that we could actually do. It's almost in a weird way. It's like a echo chamber. These two people bouncing these ideas back. You say something and somebody reiterates it back to you to like be beliefs. You see this a lot in like extreme religions. You see it a lot in like fandoms even like crazy diehard fandom i am now the alpha I'm not how this works taylor swift fans that's a fucking echo chamber dude slender man killer taylor swift fans not a lot of difference okay and i it's it's odd because i don't think it was even malicious really it was just all in the goal to get closer to this thing that they love which it makes me feel bad for how young and naive they are but it also makes me it's like so much more sinister in that way like there was no care of human life it was all to appease this character that was in PewDiePie videos like they just need to fuck my brain up a little bit you know just to kind of give you the specifics of what actually happened it gets a little gruesome so you know the girls are playing hide and seek at the time in a park prior to the attack Peyton was stabbed in the arms legs and torso with a five inch long blade she suffered wounds in two major organs. One cut went through her diaphragm, cutting her liver and stomach. There's been reports that it was inches away from ma massive arteries that could have killed her. Somehow, some way, she just was able to hold on long enough and crawl back to this busy road where a cyclist found her. Five hours later, the police found and arrested Weir and Geyser at a furniture store. The goal of the girls was to meet Slender Man at his mansion, Slender Mansion. Yeah, the whole thing has been so creative so far. And then it's just like, Slender Man lives in Slender Mansion. It's like, oh, okay, of course. Which is apparently in the Nicolette National Forest, 200 miles away from where they were found. So these girls and this naive idea were that they were going to kill this person and then walk 200 miles to Slender Mansion, which no, no, no. It's not like a McDonald's play place. It's like a foster's home of imaginary friends of creepypasta figures where they'll live like servants, but I think that they get treated okay. It's all very, it's kind of like whatever you want to decipher and believe in the situation. It's never just black and white. It's kind of like people have like, oh, he's so dreamy. And other people are like, oh, he's going to rape and kill my family kind of thing. It's Or he's going to abduct children like the fucking Pied Piper. That was kind of the origin that people kind of derive Slender Man from the Pied Piper story. There's a clip in the interrogation tape, which is kind of funny. This was like, how long was I walking? And the officer was like, what do you mean? She's like, I'm just not a very athletic person. I just wanted to know how far I walked because... I'm usually not very authentic. Honestly, don't know where the deputies found you. Was it was the 200 miles close? Like, were we close to it? And it's like, no, you were gone for like five hours. Through my mental fog, I always thought that there was like a mastermind, like a Charles Manson situation, where it's like the person who's the mastermind kind of like had somebody do their bidding kind of thing. It's like it wasn't their fault. But whenever I researched it, they're both kind of just mentally not fully there. Morgan is schizophrenic, but she showed like no remorse at all. She's just kind of like, oh, I wanted to do it. And then the time she's like, I wished I was locked up, so I knew I wouldn't hurt her, but I was going to anyways. And it's that casual. And it's like, you can tell they're just mentally not there. Versus Anissa, at the beginning of her interview, she seems kind of cold. But then by the end, I think that it's there's a lot of remorse and guilt there. But what's interesting is that while you have these two kind of moral dilemmas going on or like lack of morality or ton like you know morality but they both met in the middle to be like it was necessary to appease slender man but what's weird to me though too is that morgan has legitimate schizophrenia i mean she's like talking to people hallucinating fucking her brain is just like all over the place but you know this is a friend reminder also peyton 
once again, Rockstar. I feel like if I was stabbed 19 times, I would just probably give up and die. I like, let me, let me just say this. You'd have to come to me. Like, I'm not going to crawl. All right. I've already given up on my body in the real world. I, I don't think I'm going to fight for it. <laughs> like, I don't think I am. You're going to have to come find me. And the crazy thing, too, is that Peyton was in the hospital for seven days and she just made a good recovery. And it's fucking insane. This whole situation was you're just so young. It's something that is like national news. You have anchor men and anchor women saying Slender Man. 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 And they're saying that a cre uh, like, you know, the character's name is Creepy Pasta. It's like these all these old people just being like, what the I, what the fuck is this? They're like go down. They're like scrolling through like Escape the Fate music video and nostalgia critic. Is this Slender Man? I don't know. Throw it on the news. Fuck it. Just throw it on the news. But uh, she, I think Peyton just kind of like stepped away from everything because I can't imagine the emotional trauma that happens after getting stabbed 19 times over an internet character. In 2017, Anissa pleaded guilty to second degree intentional homicide. She was sentenced to 25 years in Winnebago Mental Health Institute, baby. In 2018, Morgan was sentenced to 40 years in a psychiatric hospital. I think when they were tried by this time, 2018, she probably just turned like 16, 17, 18, like somewhere around there. Part of their defense was to try them as children, but they were like with the severity of it. And also they're from fucking Wisconsin where every other horrible person on earth is from. Jeffrey Dahmer, Red Letter Media, all those fucking guys. I'm kidding, I love you. But yeah, they were tried as adults immediately. So to be fair, they're fucking 19, I mean, you stab somebody 19 times, you can't, yeah. You gotta, be, you gotta be tried for something like this. There has to be some kind of justice there. And it kind of made me think, where are they all at now, right? What's happening? So apparently Morgan is still serving her 40 year term in the psychiatric hospital. I don't know if she's clinically insane or not, but not much has been said. But in March of 2021, Anissa asked the court to release her from the institution. She was released on September 13th. Anissa wrote in her letter to the court, I've exhausted all the resources available to me at the Winnebago Mental Health Institute. If I am to become a productive member of society, Society, I need to be a part of society. It's fair. It's fair. I think. I don't know. This is the part where I'm just like, <sighs> it's a lot easier when it's just like a 40 year old guy who's just like, I hate women. And you just like stab somebody or just like, just kill them. I don't know. Or like lock them up, do whatever you have to do. But when it comes to like a child, I don't know. I mean, like, that's just the interesting part about all this is that the skibbity toilet thing or God forbid somebody watches like an Osmongold stream and they're like, I have to appease Osmongold. And they do that kind of thing. It's the same thing with like the guy with John Lennon, Catcher in the Rye kind of thing. Or it's like, it's all these things that kind of like just weird seeping pieces of media that get into the mentally unwell people's heads and it drives them to do insane things. And as hopeful that I am that it's never going to happen again, it's just not the case. It's it's going to happen again. And it horrifies me of when and what causes it. And it just makes you also go to show that like, I don't know, be nice to people. If you're young, fucking be nice to a person. People are weird. People are extremely fucking weird. I have bullied a lot of people when I was younger. I regret it immediately. Whenever you're a young person and you're kind of like figuring who you are out, as soon as it's, you, you find a lot of camaraderie and being very, very evil to other people. It just sucks that a lot of the times that's the thing that pushes people into like weird avenues or weird mindsets, weird friend groups obsessing over slender man and doing something crazy and the only person you have left is the other fucking crazy son of a bitch who loves slender man too and you're just like how about we kill somebody all i'm saying is at the end of the day like what you want to like do whatever but for the love of god be nice to each other and also for the love of god joe biden or hunter biden or whoever is in the office right now give peyton the medal of honor can we get her a purple heart at least get this man shit goddamn hero if i could if i honestly if i was wealthy enough honestly I put a gold statue up. Everybody here, I, I want you, even if you're watching at home, I, I'm not even joking, I want you just, just to, everyone in unison right now, if you're watching this together, just a small little golf clap for Peyton. Please clap. The god, the, the, the fucking hero. Once again, I cannot reiterate enough that if it was me, you would, you would have to come find me. I would not crawl, okay? <laughs> I would not fight. You would have to do the fighting for me. But on that note, guys, I just thought this was interesting. For the love of God, please, if you're, uh, you know, obsessing over Skibbity Toilet or you think Skibbity Toilet's real, it's not. I don't know what I'm supposed to tell you. The back rooms isn't real. Bugs Bunny wanting to slap your ass and say things isn't real either. So just, I don't know. NPC girls are real. We wish they weren't. <laughs> And you get turned on by him or you want to donate money, but that just hurts everybody. I would say stab your friend Mike in time over donate. That's all I gotta say. I love you all so much. Bye bye. Mwah.